Okay, so I didn't need a ton of groceries this week since I'd already picked up some things and I still have some things left over because I did more of a bulk buy last week. But this week I went to Sam's Club and they had some really, really great options. So I wanted to share with you, if you eat similarly to the way that we do, which is gluten and dairy free, there are some really great options at Sam's Club for some staples. So I wanna show you what I got and show you some other healthy options. So I kind of took you along with me to just peep out the scene, see what they had. And they have some things that were not there the last time I was there and I was super excited to see them. So stay tuned to see what I got. So I just wanted to stop and right at the front, I like to check out all like the nuts and the seeds and whatnot because that's one of the things that we like to slack, snack on. I like to make like our own trail mix. So I like to get just nuts and seeds that have just one or two ingredients. These are like the trail mixes that are pre-made and though they seem like they're a great deal, a lot of times they're way more expensive than just buying the nuts separately and then mixing in some of your own favorites like we like to do. But those are our option too. But these are the whole cashews that they have. Theirs have three ingredients, which were peanut oil, cashews, and salt. And that is a, um, still a great buy. It's a really big container if you don't have issues with peanut oil. These were another option. These are called the Uglies. And these were their sweet potato chips. I wanted to show you the ingredients here. They are gluten-free. There are some other oils. So if you're watching seed oils, it does have a few different ones in it. This I'd never seen before. If you're someone who eats corn, this was non-GMO corn and it had chia, um, red quinoa and chia seeds. And the ingredients on this, I'll show you what that looks like if you're interested. And it's colored with beet powder, which I love. So it's not artificially colored. That's $4.48 for a giant bag. And then in the baking section, I like to get a lot of nuts from that section because usually they're just one ingredient. So whole al almonds, this giant bag, and it's just ingredients was the almonds. So I love that. They had avocado oil for $10. I already had some, so I didn't need it, but I wanted to show you that they do have a liter here for under $10. It said that it was cold pressed. I picked up some instant dry yeast and this is $6.18. Even on Amazon, it's about $7.99 for this double pack. And I just thought this was a really, really great buy. So I went ahead and got that. Their cocoa powder was $7.58 and it had one ingredient in it, which was also gluten-free. I thought this was great. I will have to come back and get this once I'm out of cocoa powder because this is a great, great price. Next up, I just kind of went down the baking aisle, show you some of the things that are there. If you're a commercial baker, <laughs> Sam's is the place to be because there are so many giant bags of everything. I saw these Lindsay's, which Lindsay's large olives, which I absolutely love Lindsay's olives. So I just wanted to see the difference here than the one that I typically get at Costco. Let me know if you want me to do kind of a Costco versus Sam's Club with the prices and the different quality and just value for your money. Let me know if you want to see that. So they had Starkist Light Tuna for this pack. It th These are wild caught. These are the ingredients. It has broth, um, salt, and obviously the tuna. There is an option that I thought was even better, which is this albacore tuna. This is a little drier because it's more like the white meat. It's less fatty, but it was $12. And this is the line caught albacore tuna. And this to me is such a great buy because you can make so many different meals with tuna, especially in the summer months. It's easy to make a salad, with, like a tuna salad and a sandwich out of that. I just thought that was a great deal. So I wanted to show you that. I wasn't even aware that they had that, so that was cool to see. Great to get in some omega-3 fatty acids. So I just wanted to go down this aisle, see if they see if they had anything else. And I saw their pasta sauce, which I thought was a really, really great deal. They have the Rayos, which I know a lot of people absolutely love. And for a two-pack, it was $9 and some change. And I thought, well, that was pretty, that was a great price. But this Classico, you got three jars of this and I'll show you what the ingredients look like. This is the tomato basil. I feel like this is just a classic flavor that goes with either pizza or pasta pretty well. And I love to get the one from Aldi, but I thought if you're feeding a crowd, this would be the way to go. So if you're doing like a lasagna or anything like that, that was such a great deal because those jars are significantly bigger than just the jars that you're going to get at the grocery store. And Classical is a pretty great brand. Next up, I went down their cereal aisle. This was so exciting to see because this is something I typically get from Costco, same price, 12 dollars 
But this is just one of those, I just love this brand, the Seven Sundays, because the ingredients are so transparent and simple and they're kosher, they're grain-free, it's gluten-free, it's sweetened with dates and freeze-dried um, fruit, which was the strawberries and the bananas. My son, he loves that, so I picked that up for him. And the old-fashioned oats for this giant box was such a great deal. They were, I, I was looking around for anything that said that they were gluten-free. I didn't see that, but so if you're celiac, I'm, I'm not sure about this one, but it was non-genetically modified, which I thought for this giant box was an incredible price. They had some maple syrup for 32 ounces of this for $12. The little small bottles that we pick up at Aldi in a crunch sometimes are like $6. So I thought that was such a great price. And I love getting their pasture raised eggs whenever I can. But this is what really struck me. Their wild caught Argentine shrimp which these were some really good sized shrimp, were such a great price. The Alaskan sockeye salmon for this, it was like a new low price and I think it was like $21. I typically get this from Costco and it is way more expensive. I just thought that this was such a great buy and there's about six fillets in that bag. I picked up the pasture raised eggs. I picked up two packs of those because it was $4.98. And then I just looked over at the rest of their seafood because I couldn't believe these prices. So this giant bag of wild caught flounder, three pounds of it was under $16. It's such a great alternative to tilapia. I really, really enjoy that one. My family does too. They also had the Atlantic cod. These were some really giant fillets and the price to me was just unbeatable. All of this is wild caught and I, I tend to get wild caught when it comes to fish. Do whatever works for you. They also had these lobster tails, but when we're getting wild caught fish, the fish are, are eating what they were intended to eat. If they're healthier, we're healthier. So broccoli florets, they had a big bag of that. They had their Nor Normandy brand here. <laughs> Can I talk? But for $6, you get this giant bag. If you're someone who is into soda, but you are watching sugar, Splendrift is great because it's just flavored with, you know, you get a little sparkling water with a little taste of actual fruit juice. So I think that's really great. Two eighteen dollars for this giant bag of coleslaw. I use that for egg roll in a bowl and so many other things. Their romaine hearts, all of their like produce was such great prices. Two forty eight dollars for two big heads of iceberg. Their spring mix was four dollars and some change and next up they had organic baby bella mushrooms which i am a huge fan of and theirs are a little bigger than the ones that i've um, seen and this was a pretty big pack i thought five dollars for that you can get several meals out of that with stir fries or toppings for things or mixed in with like pastas they had green beans, they had Brussels sprouts for $4.48, and this bag was a pretty decent sized bag, so let me show you what that looks like. I thought this is great, but I picked up some Aldi, so I don't need it this week. And this is their organic green beans. I, I don't recall seeing this here before, so I was really excited to see that. They're just, to me, they're getting more and more options and that's the thing about going grocery shopping. If you are getting real whole food options, it's easy to go to any other store because these are items that most stores carry. So potatoes and, um, you know, these russet potatoes, these were such a great price, um, great price, great size. So I had to get those great for making your own French fries in the air fryer. Their sweet potatoes were under $4.00 for this big bag and they were non-GMO, which I thought was really, really great. I thought that was even a better deal than what I typically get at Aldi, so I picked those up. Whenever it comes to meat, I tend to get natural if I can't find organic, and I always aim for no antibiotics, no steroids, and no hormones if I can help it. Get what works for you, but this giant pack was under $8 at Sam's Club, so I had to go ahead and get this because that's gonna make so many meals. They also had ground beef that was organic and I already have some but this three pack was under $15 and I just thought that was a great buy so I wanted to show you that and then it was $4.78 a pound for this turkey breast I like to make my own sandwiches and shave it myself so I I picked up their pasture raised eggs which I absolutely love these um, these yolks are just golden and beautiful and you know that they're just packed with nutrients. I love getting these. The price is excellent on those. I think it's like $5 um, for 18. 
Next up, I picked up their sweet potatoes and I think that this is like, these are non-GMO, which I love. And you're getting five pounds for such a great deal. And these were just the perfect size sweet potatoes. If you're anything like me, you're looking for kind of a medium sized sweet potato that you could actually roast in the oven if you wanted to, um, without it being so gargantuan that you feel like this is gonna take five hours to roast. But anyways, I also do like sweet potato cubes with this and sweet potato fries. It's just a whole real food Beautiful. option that I love having on hand. We go through a lot of potatoes in this house. That's like our favorite kind of go-to whole food carbohydrate. We eat things like quinoa as well. Um, I also picked up their russets and this also was an excellent price. And again, the size was just right. I hate when they're really, really tiny, but also I don't want them so massive that I can't roast them. I love having this as an option for making my own fries. We love to do wings and fries at least once a week in the air fryer, and these are the type that I love to get. The Atlantic Cod is already open because this is going to be part of dinner tonight. And this was such a great, great, great price. This is skinless, boneless, and wild caught. And for the price, I just thought it was amazing because the pieces that you get, let me show you. The pieces that you get are huge. And that is a wild caught fish, which is just such a great, great buy. Next up, I've been getting this from Costco and this has been pretty expensive. <laughs> it's been about $40 at Costco. And though this is a little bit less as far as it being two pounds, this was such a great buy and you are getting just a great form of omega-3 fatty acids. This is just phenomenal for our brain health, our heart health, and for our cells, our hormones, everything. I absolutely love wild caught sockeye salmon. And you always wanna get wild caught when it comes to fish if you can, just because it's eating its natural diet and it's not giving things like corn and soy and basically being fed things that fish don't naturally eat. Um, so that's what I, I really, really love to get this. Again, I don't get everything organic. I try to get beef and beef organic and I try to um, get wild caught fish if I can help it. But when it comes to chicken, I'm a little more lenient in this area. I just look for it. If they don't have organic, I like to get something that is natural, that's no antibiotics, that's no added hormones or steroids. So that's pretty important to me when it comes to meat. So this is just such a great buy. It's a two pack and I'm working on perfecting a gluten-free pizza dough recipe and I needed yeast. So instead of buying like a little packet that I'll run about a dollar, this entire thing is going to last me probably a year and I'm not sure the expiration date is, but one pack of these will probably last me a year or more. I'll, I'll probably give the other one away to a family member, but that's just such a great price. This I was super excited about because again, we have already opened this. This is my real place. <laughs> this is the food we really eat. And this is just a grain-free granola nut kind of just mix. This is more of a paleo style. It has no added sugar, no gluten, and it's non-GMO. And check out the ingredients. I absolutely love this. Just real whole food ingredients. It's sweetened with dates, has a little bit of coconut oil in it, it has flax seeds and chia seeds, and then it has freeze-dried strawberries and bananas. And when I say this is so, so delicious, I can't eat a ton of it because of my histamine, but my son really, really wanted it, so I made sure to get it. And the other thing was it's the same exact price at Costco, so it's $12.98. Seems like a lot, but when you think about how much cereal you're getting in this, this is 19 servings, and this is a bunch of nuts and seeds, so you're not gonna just sit down and just plow through a huge bowl of this. And it's also great as a topping on like some dairy for you yogurt these are the things that i got and i know that this seems like not a lot but i am going to make so many different meals out of this there's so many other things that i still have left over from last week like bananas and apples and breakfast chicken sausage and i have a ton of vegetables in the freezer still so this is what i got this was such a great great deal and if you have a sam's club pop in and see how much your fish is because this price for this, this, the value for the quality that you're getting with that, to me, just, I haven't seen anything to beat that lately. So that is what we got this week. Until next time, your life matters, what you do with it matters. So what will you steward well? Peace.